Hello, Mr. Geislart here, and we're going to take a look at question number 10. It says, suppose there are 15 freshmen, 6 sophomores, 8 juniors, and 9 seniors running for office of president, vice president, and secretary. If no person can hold more than one office, in how many different ways could these people be elected to positions if the president must be a senior and the secretary must be a freshman? So, let's again, we're going to have to make a decision chart here. So, what I want to do is say, we have president here, how many can be there? How many can be the vice president? And then how many can be the secretary? Well, it says that the president has to be a senior. So there's only nine of them. It says the secretary has to be a freshman. There's 15 of them. There's no rules about who can be VP. So I have to take all of the other people and add them together. Well, if you have one fresh or one um, senior that's the president, that leaves only eight left to be vice president. If you have one freshman that's a secretary, that only leaves 14 freshmen for the secretary, or for the vice president. So then there's going to be plus six sophomores, plus eight juniors, plus that. So when you add those together, you're going to get 36. So this one should be 36. So I'm going to multiply all of those numbers together. You're going to end up with 4860, so 4860.